Hi, 同学们好。Um, now we are going to teach you how to add Chinese pinyin input methods into your input options. Okay, so what you're going to do is you go to the bottom right, right where I'm circling, click anywhere in that zone, and then you will see the option right here for your settings. Click on this. This window will pop up as it's loading. It will show that you have a search bar on the top. So what you're going to do is you put input, I N P U T, and there are a few options. Choose the language and input. All right. So this is the page you should see here on the second line. A row here says inputs and keyboards. That's what you're looking for. And immediately you see add input methods here. So click on this plus sign. Add input. And you can type in Chinese, but I want you to choose the correct one. So scroll down.、Uh, make sure you choose the correct one. Okay. Do not choose the traditional. We are learning Mandarin Chinese. That's simplified Chinese. What are you going to choose? Is only this one, Chinese Pinyin. Okay. Make sure it's Chinese Pinyin, and then click on Add. So now we are done. Let's go to a Google Doc and test it out. Open a Google Doc, anything, and then you should already have U.S. at the bottom right. So there is a shortcut, Control and Space. Not look where my cursor is. Control and Space. You should see it change to Pinyin. Click on it again. Control and Space bar. It should change back to U.S. So if you have some other subjects assignment, you can switch between Chinese and English anytime easily. But if you forgot the shortcut, which is Control and Space Bar, but if you forgot, you can click on it and then just manually choose Chinese Pinyin. Okay. So let's start typing Ni Hao, N I H A O. You see, as I'm typing the Pinyin, the alphabets, the words come out. So my advice for you is, if there are two words in the phrase, type them together. Type all the alphabets together, and most likely the first option is the word Chinese characters that you are looking for. Okay, so you can click on one; they will show, or you can click on the spar space bar; it will show the Chinese character you're looking for. So here we are. Ni hao. Hope you enjoy using Chinese. Uh, pinyin as input methods to type Chinese characters. See you soon. 再见。